Now that we know how to create assignments for our students, it's also beneficial to go over how to assess their work. Now, if you're using the workflow with pull requests, I highly recommend that you request that your students make pull requests so that you can review any sort of changes they make to their code. In this lesson, we'll go over how to make comments on a pull request, as well as how to approve a pull request for your students. Back at my assignments, I see both my group assignment as well as my individual assignment. And I wanna check on my student status for the individual assignment. So I can click here and notice of my roster of all my students, in this case, I only have one, my one student has made one commit. And there I can actually go ahead and view the repository and see what's going on. And I see that my student has a pull request. And earlier, I noticed that I was invited as a reviewer for this pull request. So I can see that here, and I also received an email notifying me that my student would like a review. So I can review the code by looking at the files changed. Uh, in previous lessons, I showed you that you can add individual comments to different lines. I see a student has deleted a line and also added a new line here. So I can leave an individual comment and I can tell the student in particular what I like, what I don't like about the lines of code that were added and deleted. I also have the ability to do this through review changes. So I can leave a general comment to these changes here and I can either write out the comment and then submit for review with a comment or I could re request specific changes that can be done with a comment and then submit for review, or I can go ahead and approve it with a comment. In this case, I like the work that the student has done. I'm just gonna go ahead and approve it and submit for review. Now here, when the student comes back to the repository and specifically this pull request, they'll notice that there's one approval that has been made and they can click on this and see that I, as the teacher, have approved it. They can go ahead and uh, merge the pull request when they come back into this PR and they can continue on with their work. So this is a great way to collaborate. On top of that, there's other ways that you can review student work. Uh, another benefit is that you can also use issues as a means to provide feedback to your students. So let's say I reviewed this work and there's something in particular here that I don't particularly like. I can go ahead and create an issue and request my student to make those specific changes. And I'd highly recommend going back to the previous lessons in order to understand how to create an issue. But with this, I can create an issue and specifically ask for what I'd like to see the student do in the next PR or with the most recent PR and ask them to make those changes. There are many ways to review student work. You could obviously provide feedback on your LMS. You can also provide feedback through individual lines of code within the repository. But whatever you do decide, make sure that it's clear to your students how you'll go about assessing their work.